Hello and welcome to Bristol, here in the Archicar. I've been looking forward to this one as I do every week. Love the Archicar. But I've also been wary of this one because short tracks weren't really my specialty. But, uh, I don't know. Bristol's kind of its own thing, to be honest. I mean, yes, it's very clearly a short track. But it's a short track with a whole lot of banking. So it almost doesn't even drive much like a short track. Okay, here comes your first In a way. So you're not even really getting on the brakes all too much. Since that banking catches you. But uh, I'm real bad at Bristol. <laughs> Generally. I mean, uh, my 87 race here went pretty well. But, uh... Had a lot to do with having tires at the right time as well. This is a uh, this is something that's going to be a completely different kind of race. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Ooh. I'll get that my best shot. Hopefully, we'll get a decent start because I think passing is going to be very difficult. It's uh, man, that didn't even feel like I uh, I got all all I could out of it because uh, I was pretty nervous. I mean, you can. Uh, Drive real fast and be on edge, but it can snap really easy too. When the tires are cold, you really can't enter down here. It'll like, I guess it's just a, it's kind of like diving into the banking. It gets, the car just gets too light and it'll spin. So especially on the cold tires, you kind of have to run this high line. Or at least that's, uh, you know, kind of what I felt in my bit of practice so far tires warm up you can kind of get away with it but uh, I think the high line might be preferred anyway not only just in terms of speed but I think it'll be better on the tires too my goal this race well my goal is to finish well isn't that the goal of every race <laughs> but uh, something I'm going to be trying this race is uh, keeping it up high and then going in soft enough that I can how did I Okay, I didn't think I got the pole. I was like, there's no way I got the pole. But that was quick. Holy cow, everyone got their laps in really quick. Anyway. I'm going to have my brake bias all the way back. Just like, just because I feel like the brake bias is so far forward already in this car. That's just my personal preference. I like the way that feels further back. That's, uh... I don't know. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to save the tires. My goal is to enter the corner... Somewhat gently, and then, uh, you know, use the throttle to get off the corner. And, uh, maybe that'll be good for the tire wear. But as previously mentioned, hundreds of thousands of times, never listen to me when it comes to tire wear, because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm always bad with it. So. Take it with the biggest grain of salt you have ever seen. Pour it onto your plate, and it crushes... I don't know. What do you put salad? Or, uh, salad. What do you put salt on? Salted, uh... Oh, chicken? <laughs> It'll crush the plate of chicken. It's the biggest grain of salt you've ever seen. Mashed potatoes. Let me stop before I make myself hungry. Anyway, looks like we've qualified P2. I know Mike's very fast. I've raced with him a time or two before. He just barely eked us out, qualifying. Everyone's got really close times, though, so... Everyone, uh, looks like everyone in this kind of top sector probably could come around and There's make no a run at it. A lot of it's going to be surviving. No allowed during the uh, it is a late-night race, so it has, a, I believe, this field split once. So we get a big, nice range. Of skill levels in here. You're on the outside this time. Pit road is closed. Get up onto this big old banking, nice and friendly like. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so it is a late night race. Um, kind of like how Nick's race went. He did a late night race that was single split, 
And uh, his turned out okay. He had to dodge some wrecks, but. He had to dodge some wrecks, but uh, he finished. Uh, he finished well. He was able to pull it off. Hopefully, I can do the same. Let's. Uh, this looks like a first gear start. One to go. Next time by. I don't know if I would have expected that. At Bristol, but uh, that's what it looks like to me. I remember at Bristol, uh, it says get ready really early for some reason. This car's not going to pull off for another half a lap. Don't know why it does that. But, uh, it's going to be hard to get a good jump here. It's uh, tight quarters. Not good. That sounded like they're... The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Yeah, he's decent enough. Mm, he's, da he's daring. He's going to go down there immediately. But I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't trust myself to hold on to it. So. The next car's the leader. Initiate game plan. Easy in. And, uh. Gas it up on the exit. Ooh, it feels light though. Oh, it feels light though. Man, Bristol's so scary. <laughs> it's like you're driving on a vertical wall. Hopefully my pensiveness will actually be good on tire saving. Because I am scared. At least until these tires warm up a bit. And then we'll just try to be consistent. He's not actually running this higher line. That's curious. I wonder if it's better for the tires to actually run low like that. I might have to adjust. My assumption is that he knows what he's doing. Because I know he's very talented. Maybe I should be running a different line. Maybe I'll go middle. Yeah, I think that might be better on the tires because it feels like I can use my brake bias more. Go low, go high. Whoa! Alright, well that was scary. Fuck you done. <laughs> uh, no cautions in Arca, by the way, in case you forgot. So we might come up on a wall of cars that would scare the bejeebus out of me. Slow car down low, go high. He's got a broken tire, so I was worried he was not going to be able to turn. So I had to make sure I was going in uh, and entering high. Slow car down low, cast off down low. Slow car down low. Man, it's so scary. You can't see what's coming around the corner until it's too late. Pretty much. So you really gotta listen to that spotter and be ready for whatever's coming. I'm not interested in trying to do any passes or anything right now. I think we're are better off uh, trying to keep it going long term. We'll follow Mike. And uh, keep up with him. He's probably just uh, only going as fast as he needs to, if I had to guess. Keeping the tires on it. But if, uh, if we get ourselves a podium here, I'll be very happy. Coming up on a lot of lap cars. Another reason I don't really want to be in the lead right now. First person to, to beat the lap cars. <laughs> These laps will tick off quick though. Only 15 second laps or so. And uh, we do have Jamie back there. 
Uh oh, diving in on us apparently. Inside. Go on then. I'm not expecting that. They're uh, driving hard. I'm just not quite ready for that yet, and I certainly don't want to go side by side. Especially with lap cars coming up, so. Just gonna be uh, very conservative this race. Clear and backs off for us. That's appreciated. I'd say thank you, but there's not much time to think here, <laughs> to be honest. So I've got something broken. That's scary, because I don't know if he's going to not be able to turn or something here in a moment. Oh, and he's blinking. A whole lot of things I don't like happening right there. Don't hurt me. Thank you. You're sparing me my life. Tires are only gonna get more and more worn, and therefore more and more height the car is gonna be. It's gonna understeer. So that's a thing. Be sure to kick that, kick that uh, brake, get it to turn into the corner. Or they're doing something ahead. a lot going on right there. The leader's getting caught up by it too. I guess they're just side by side. And, uh, Mike can't break on through to the other side. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> I guess they let it uh, let him by eventually. Oh boy, this is this is scary. But hey, pretty fun too. Bristol is a fun track to run. Just a uh, little bit sketchy to run side by side with someone. You know? One of those tracks. There we go. Hopefully, they'll be single file when we kind of catch up here. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Three didn't really lift off for us, but uh, still kind of let us by a little bit. We're good. That works. Doesn't want to give up too much time. I imagine he's fighting uh, on the same lap as these guys. I'm just not as brave, I think, coming up on these lap cars. The other guys kind of just keep driving on through. I'm just uh, super worried. Inside. See, one's by. Clear inside. Uh, not sure if that's what that was, but if it was, I appreciate it. I think uh, we're going to have to hope that uh, they have a harder time saving tires. Or maybe that they fight enough that they uh, fall off the pace. Because uh, they've gained a little bit of distance on us. Just I genuinely don't know if I'm saving tires well or not. Honestly, I'm just not skilled enough with short track racing that I can even worry about that kind of thing. I'm just more worried about getting around the track safely. bit of a cut down on exit. Six is uh, doing the opposite, I guess. <laughs> Slider line almost. Oh, he scared me a bit. Inside, clear inside. I think he was letting us go. Alright. Hey, everyone's being very nice. I believe that was an F-bomb directed at somebody. I guess something happened. I don't know. 
I didn't quite hear what he said, but I thought it was an F U something something. <laughs> that could be wrong. Doesn't seem unlikely though. We will take the low line. The low one's not all uh, all that bad. Uh, one of the big complaints about uh, the current Bristol is that the high line's a little bit too dominant. And uh, I think, well, it does seem like maybe mid to low line might be a little better. Hard to say for sure. It uh, seems to be where the lead guys are going. Kind of this mid-low line, so. Seems pretty good. But I think what I'm noticing is we kind of have options. Which is always good. I believe Mike is continuing to drive away. But we might actually be catching the number four. See how that actually ends up turning out. But uh, we still could have a shot at silver medal, at least. Yeah, catching pretty good, I think. Slow in. And then uh, get the drive off. Seems to be working. Well enough, anyway. By standards. Reeling them in. car is getting tighter. I do feel it. Feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. But it's, uh, it's not unreasonably so. I'm thinking I'm doing an okay job. Not killing the thing. That is until it says, uh, you know, I get the meatball flag in three laps. That's usually what happens. I'm like, I think I'm doing a good job. And then it says you have to pit for repairs. Because you stink. Clear up, top. And I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> no, not really. Looky here. I gotta get past him, though. And, uh, well, he might. Uh, we'll see if he uh, gives it to us or if we have to fight hard. Outside. Stay low. Stay low. Clear. Outside. He's fighting. That is his right. Outside, clear. Fight for the spot. Clear high. You're back in second. Car might have helped us out a bit there. Couldn't be uh, a lot alongside us anymore. And thankfully, he didn't try something like a three wide move. So that would have been something that didn't work. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness. I thought he was going to bounce off the wall and kill us. Trying to watch out for that. It can happen anytime. Great job. Get to go. Put your socks on in the morning. Boom. Car on the wall. Knocks you unconscious. Going for a nice jog. Getting your cardio in. Boom. Car hits the wall. Knocks you unconscious. I'm telling you, anytime. Clear. Uh, Mike is five seconds ahead. We are not catching him. <laughs> There's no way. He uh, was able to save his tires. But, you know what can happen? Boom! Car on the wall. Knocks you unconscious. It can happen to him, too. Taking, uh, taking turn three, going into four. Boom! Car on the wall. Knocks you unconscious. 
number two car races on by. <laughs> not likely. But not too unlikely either. We're playing the odds. Oh my gosh, he's getting seven tenths on us. <laughs> he's uh, definitely faster. We don't deserve to win this one. Let me let me say that. See, he's got it figured out. Five, five to go. So I'm pretty happy with our performance. Pull up a second. At five. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, I thought that guy was gonna come down the track and, you know, boom, car in the wall, knock me unconscious. Thought that's what I was witnessing. But the other thing I was witnessing is the number five, who has saved their tires better than us apparently. They are zoom, zoom, zooming. Slow car down low. Slow car down low. Favorite song. Let's go. Slow car down low. Not my favorite song. My mind really wanders in these short track races. Because you really got to get him into like a hypnotic state. It's coming up on us. Can we hold him off one more lap? Woo! All right. Good win, Mike. Chicken flag. All right. Thank you. Great job. You did really well. Can you have a couple laps on your Carlton, Bernard? I know you were coming up on me. Had me scared there. Okay, the race. It's a good race. Uh, bring it on in. All right. Oh, by the way, new car, uh, new paint scheme. Uh, as I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos. Oh, I have enough tire left. <laughs> <laughs> As I uh, mentioned, uh, past couple of races, new year, new paints on a lot of the cars. A lot of the ones that I uh, frequent. And uh, here I've got the Cheddar's vehicle with the little croissants on it. Wow. Can you believe it? Little tiny croissants. Cheddar's is a good restaurant. I've been there before. And uh, it's also the scheme that Tyler Reddick runs in real life in the uh, Cup Series. And uh, one of my favorite drivers at the moment. That is subject to change because, I mean, honestly, you don't really know much about a driver. <laughs> like, personally, as a fan, you only see their public-facing persona, so he might say something dumb one day. Like, uh, I think that actually um, Wizards... And sorcerers run the world, and uh, the earth is flat. And then I'll say, you know what? I like cheddars, but not that much. <laughs> and then I'll change my paint scheme. But uh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So let's watch the incidents. <laughs> Get a good angle. All right. So we're going to get a million wall taps this race, I'm sure. And apparently... Some blink outs as well. Whoa, what happened to the three? That was crazy. That snapped hard on them. You know what it was, I bet, is what I was telling you on cold tires, entering low. Entering that banking, the car gets really light. It snaps on you. Although it kind of looks like he was slowly getting loose and he just overcorrects. Does it get hit? Nope. So, uh, he's able to keep going. It probably would have been much worse otherwise. That's a guy that could have been running up front with us. Keeping us out of, uh, second position. I forgot where I finished for a second. <laughs> we got some uh, self spins. We're going to see a couple of more of those, I'm sure. Especially early in the race. So far, it's very loose at the start. We're going to see a lot of self-spins at the beginning, and then we're going to see a lot of wall bangs later on. 
as the car transitions from loose to tight. Speaking of, 5789 is my glorious, gloriously terrible tire saving. <laughs> Anyone share them? No. Self spin. Up nine. We'll get you. That was just a prediction, thinking you hit the wall. Lots of colors on this vehicle. The 12's got a wheel problem. His right front wheel's knocked out of alignment, I believe. So his uh, his car's not going to be turning quite right. I think I remember passing him with his sparks flying everywhere. Then it gets in the wall some more. Jacob Childress. wonder if there's any relation to the Childress of fame. Gonna have to skip by some of these wall hits. So we're gonna see a lot of them, I'm sure. Although we're already halfway through the race. Um, by this point, the car has gotten tight, so a lot of people are uh, doing that. Ooh. Almost took the extra step, though, there. Not just a wall hit, but the, the wall hit spin combo. At four, I guess, they really killed their tires. So at least we weren't the worst on tire saving, presumably. So we actually were able to overtake them. I think the way Mike was doing it, as predicted, is the way to do it to save tires. Probably um, taking that mid to low line once your tires are warm and you can handle it. It's three doing. Didn't see much there. There's us going by, though. My sharp new vehicle. As usual, it's just trading paints. I did not make it. I have no artistic skill of the visual medium. So. It, uh. Was someone else that kindly shared it? Kind of like that forest green. It's kind of a nice. I'm starting to wonder, we're seeing cars for no reason, and it's late in the race. That might be because their tires are reaching maybe below 50. Maybe that's why we're seeing it. California gets absolutely sent. Holy smokes. I wonder if that's retaliation for something. Did the 8 get into him earlier? I don't think so. It must have been, if it did happen, it was much earlier in the race. Okay, so they're not even on the same lap. This guy's actually in fifth. I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe he thought he was going to go high, but I mean, he's kind of, yeah, he's kind of like in the middle. So it's kind of hard to tell where he's going to be. I think that was a miscommunication of intentions but that's it for a late night low participation race that only had one split that was pretty darn clean bristol at arc and in the arca car that was pretty well run by everybody and a pretty fun one i mean you don't see anyone above 4x you know it easily could have been a wreck fest so uh getting the zero x second place I'm very happy with that. I think that's exactly what Nick got in his race, the late night race he did. He got second place as well. So yeah, all right. I'm very happy. Great race, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed driving it. I'll see you next time. It'll, uh, it'll be a good one, I hope.